What's going on YouTube? This is Rabo at the Bench and today I have another cut or carry review today looking at the tactile turn bolt. So yes, this is another pin review. Um, if you've seen one of the, I think one or two other pin reviews that I have on, on this channel, you will know that I am not a pin reviewer. I don't know a lot about pins, um, but apparently uh, this is what I've become. Uh, so in the past, I have always been a Pilot G2 fan, and I have uh, been carrying the Machine Era Classic. I've also owned the Markup, and really I've talked about how my requirements in a pin are that it takes a Pilot G2 refill. That is really the big thing that I'm looking for. Um, and so I've tried the Machine Era Classic and the Mark. well, first the Markup, then the Classic, um, and while I liked both of those pins and I liked probably the classic more than the markup, um, there was something still missing. And so uh, I cannot believe this, but I ordered uh, this titanium version of the tactile turn bolt. Um, this is the long or full size version. They also make a short, uh, but that does not take the Pilot G2. Um, so I have this guy and I've been carrying this for several months. Well, maybe, maybe two months. Um, and I've been really enjoying it, so I thought I would do a quick review. Uh, this is probably not going to be a whole lot, to, a whole lot to this review because I just don't know a ton about pins. But I'll just speak to my experience and kind of what I like and dislike. Um, so first of all, size comparison. So this is uh, this is the Machine Era Classic. That's really the only size comparison I'm going to do because most likely you've had some experience with this. Um, obviously, this is a, a capped pin, so take this off add it to the back and I can show you the size here. So much more comparable size in that respect. Um, and then this is a bolt action, so uh, no cap re removal necessary. Um, and then I'll go ahead and do, I guess a quick measurement real quick, just for, uh, just for fun. So full size, you're looking at right about five and a half inches on this guy. Um, and then in terms of the diameter, you're looking at 0 0.42 inches, which is not, uh, not necessarily sleek, and I'll talk about that. All right, so things that I like about the tactile turn bolt. Um, so a lot of things. Uh, first of all, the pocket clip is amazing on this uh, pin. This is an excellent, excellent pocket clip uh, for a pin or a knife or anything. I mean, this is just a very, very good pocket clip. Uh, very sturdy, has a good amount of spring tension. You can see a nice little detail right there. Let's see if I can get it the right direction. So tactile turn, this is a 2019 made pin. Um, but the pocket clip is excellent. And I use the pocket clip every day. I've started clipping it into my uh, pants pocket and it, it just holds it really, really nicely. I mean, this is, uh, man, Machine Era could really use to learn something from Tactile Turn here uh, because Machine Era just cannot figure out pocket clips. This is an incredible pocket clip, very sleek in that it sits inside of this cap here. Um, so you don't have the collar, which is a nice little detail. Not really functional, but nice little detail. Um, so the pocket clip is really one of the things that's blown me away um, on this knife. Um, other things I like, uh, titanium, I like the, the options. I think they do brass, copper, and... I can't remember if they do a DLC coated or stainless steel, but um, I really wanted the titanium one for the lightness, uh, but also I've just been getting into some titanium um, gear, and so I thought this might be kind of fun to have. Other things that I like, uh, the bolt is very nice. I, I think that it is a very uh, practical shape, um, works very well. Um, this is a very easy to engage and disengage and kind of play around with. Um, practically, I found it just very, very nice to, to use. And so I, I really do like the bolt. Um, you can get them in kind of a Damascus uh, or Timascus. Um, honestly, if for as cool as it looks, it's really not my thing. Um, so maybe if I get another one, but honestly, I just like the look of that t the uh, titanium bolt. Plus you have um, this kind of more bead blasted or rough finished uh, inner tube there, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, but all in all, I think the uh, the bolt action works really, really nicely. Uh, you don't really have to think about disengaging it. You just kind of pop it over um, and, it, and it disengages just fine. Uh, you need to think a little bit and be intentional a little bit in where you push it off uh, when you're opening the pin. Um, but uh, but disengaging it, uh, no no problem at all. Um, other things overall, I just like the aesthetics. I think it's a very nice looking pin. Um, I was not crazy about the um, the little finish detailing here, which I'm having trouble picking up on my camera, but hopefully you can see 
um, this, uh, this, this very, very uh, fine kind of, for lack of a better word, ribbing all the way down uh, the pin. Um, honestly, I didn't love the way that it looks, and it's still not necessarily my favorite, but I do like it a lot more than just having a polished titanium. I think it it adds a little bit of visual interest. It actually adds a little bit of texture um, to, to grip this, which is really, really nice. Um, and so I, I, I do actually end up, uh, or I have kind of grown to, to really, really like that. Um, and so that's really nice. Um, the other thing that I've noticed, uh, there is maybe, and I'm not even feeling it there. I don't think that there is any side to side play um, with the nib up here. Um, I think it fills it out very nicely. Maybe some uh, kind of vertical play when you when you press down. Um, and that, that most likely I would think has to do with the spring um, in there. But um, writing with this pen is, is absolutely great. I'm not gonna try to write again on paper because you've all seen how that goes and it's just not great. Um, but, uh, but, but writing with this pen is, is, is very nice. It's very comfortable in the hand. Um, the, uh, the machine era pens, uh, while they are great and, and, and uh, I think fairly comfortable, whoa, if I don't throw them around the bench, um, they're a little bit thin and uh, not quite as comfortable as something like this. Uh, other things that I like, um, overall, just a, a, a very enjoyable pen. Uh, a nice pen that looks kind of good at the office, uh, but uh, it's, it's a pen that I've, I've found myself reaching for and really wanting to write with. Things that I dislike, uh, the size. So it, it's a little bit long. Um, I, I think that this could do to be half an inch to an inch shorter, and it might be about the perfect size. And then it's a little bit thick, um, so 0.4, 2 inches. Um, this, this, this is really the first thing that stuck out to me um, when I first got this pen, uh, is that it is, it is very thick. And, and it's hard to tell, but it just, it feels really big in the hand, and I've kind of gotten used to it. But um, this really should be a, a decent bit thinner. I mean, a Pilot G, G2 refill is not that thick. Um, and all in all, I think that this pen would be almost perfect if it was a, a hair, uh, not a hair, if it was a decent bit th uh, thinner. Um, other things that I dislike, and, and really this is going to be it, um, this is a little bit sharp down in here. It has worn in okay, but you can see that that is just a fine little point. Um, and all of the edges on the bolt and, and on this channel here uh, came fairly sharp. They're wearing in okay, but it's definitely still uncomfortable. And since you're really doing this all the time um, that, you're, uh, that you're playing with this pen or writing this pen, um, that is something that you, that you really notice. Like I said, it's gotten better with time. It probably will continue to, um, but definitely something uh, that, uh, that I noticed out of the box. Uh, so all in all, Cutter Carry, this is a carry for me. I love this pen. It's become my go-to daily carry pen. Um, I think it's a little bit ridiculous that this is a $100 pen and that I'm, I'm suggesting uh, that you buy this because honestly, you're just as well off with a Pilot G2. However, I like this pen so much that I'm considering another one. Um, I may try a different pen because apparently now I'm becoming a pen guy, um, but I have really, really enjoyed this pen. Uh, I think it is a fantastic pen. Uh, it is probably the only one that I would ever need, um, and, I, and I've really, really enjoyed it. So hope you have enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.